Uh, Rahul, that moment when Rahul Gandhi, you know, crouches down to tie Sonia Gandhi's shoelace has become the face of the Yatra today. You know, after a two-day break, Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi capturing mind space, you know, managing to score on virality, sending out a nice message of mother and son. They've taken center stage today, Rahul. Absolutely, Shiv. Uh, you know, those were really, really special moments uh, as far as Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. Uh, they both are concerned because Rahul, uh, you know, tying uh, shoelaces of Sonia Gandhi. Obviously, uh, you know, this was done among, uh, you know, a lot of camera persons over there. But obviously, it was a very special moment showing, uh, you know, the special bond uh, that both uh, mother and son uh, share. Also, I must tell you, there were a couple of, uh, you know, uh, more incidents also. You rightly pointed out that uh, when Sonia Gandhi was walking along with Rahul Gandhi, at one point of time, Rahul Gandhi insisted and, in fact, uh, uh, compelled Sonia Gandhi to get back into the car, saying that, uh, uh, you know, uh, she should not walk for such long distances as her health uh, doesn't allow so. Uh, in fact, then there was third image that, obviously, when uh, Sonia Gandhi and uh, Rahul Gandhi, they both were comforting that little girl who actually... Uh, accidentally fell uh, while she was trying to meet, uh, uh, you know, uh, Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. So obviously you can say, you know, uh, undoubtedly these were special moments, personal moments in fact rather, uh, but obviously, uh, you know, you have to decode everything in, in, in politics. If you remember those images uh, of Rahul Gandhi addressing rally amidst heavy downpour, the Congress party sent out a message that Rahul Gandhi, the resilient man, is a committed man to the cause of Bharat Jodo Yatra, and in fact, he's committed to politics as well. These images that we are showing uh, right now obviously also show the gentle part of Rahul Gandhi, how he's a family man, how he's always been there to help people. Yeah. So obviously, all, the, all this has been done uh, to ensure that a message goes around that Rahul Gandhi, uh, 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 you know, uh, which is often ridiculed uh, by his opponents saying that yeah. he's not committed to politics and he's reluctant to do politics. All these, you know, messages are going around that Rahul Gandhi is not just resilient, he's a strong person, in fact, he's committed to politics. At the same time, he's a very gentle person, he's a very family person like you and me, and you can say that all this is a part of packaging. It's, it's most certainly part of packaging, but packaging is not a bad thing. That's what politics is all about. It's about perception. Uh, you know, it's not about Pappu, it's about prime ministerial candidate, it's about people's person, it's about perception, it's about politics, which can never be a bad thing. If people are going to talk about Rahul being relaunched, why not? If, you know, the Congress sees Rahul as their tallest leader, why not? Why can't he be projected as the prime ministerial candidate? Remember, a lot of people are saying many things about the Yatra, about the PR machinery, about the social media, about the viral moments, about the crowds. The fact is, to me personally as a journalist, this Yatra is with an end game to project Rahul Gandhi as a prime ministerial candidate for 2024.